What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So I'm gonna check out 20 funny things fans did at WWE shows. This should be a pretty interesting one. I know y'all. I know y'all gonna say, "Oh, he, he said the catchphrase," but nah. Uh, it's it's always cool to see the interaction with the fans and the wrestlers, and sometimes they end up saying some funny stuff or doing some funny stuff live on camera. So let's check this out. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into this video, man. Ron to laugh at this, but my goodness, is it funny? Okay, so on Ron. Okay, it's Ron to laugh at this, but my goodness, is it funny? Okay, so on Raw in 2013, Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley were meeting in the ring to sign a contract for their match. During his entrance, Lesnar gave high fives to the fans and even gave his cowboy hat to a baby in the crowd only to then take the hat back. Am I going to hell for laughing at this? The funniest part <laughs> is that when a WWE wrestler is actually trying to give a cool gift, the fans don't seem to want it. Yeah. During her entrance, Natalia paid tribute to her uncle, Bret Hart, and was looking for a fan to give her glasses to. She found a little girl, but unfortunately, the young fan did not want the shades. Making like, uh -uh. the situation even more awkward, the girl left Natalia hanging when she asked for a high five. It's uh, one when like, uh -uh. rejected by another adult. It's another when the rejection comes from a little girl. WWE face. fans love of Cody Rhodes, not just because he's a great wrestler or because he delivers the most captivating speeches on the mic or the fact he has the best theme song. <laughs> Fans like Cody because he's a wonderful human being who goes out of his way to make sure everyone has a great time at WWE shows. A second grade teacher was attending a WWE event and asked Cody for a favor. Cody, I'm a teacher, tell my students to do their homework. <laughs> this guy is That's lucky cool. to have the nice Cody Rhodes. Other fans have had to deal with jerk uh -huh. Rhodes. While he was in Ring of Honor, Cody Rhodes was wrestling a match at the historic Hammerstein Ballroom. A fan offered Cody a beverage before he started wrestling, and Cody did this. Then he's gonna wanna wrestle in front of his car. Uh. However, Rhodes did something much worse to this next fan. After going at it for a bit, Cody got out of the ring. Some fans were heckling Rhodes, so he decided to shut them down. <laughs> Make the match their own. <laughs> Sometimes, WWE fans are so fun. Hey, I'm not even gonna lie to you. If we ever get it, I don't know if we will ever get it because, I mean, we're in a different era in WWE and they like to pull audibles if they need to, but Cody is such the ultimate baby face. But I would love to see him go heel. Hope they don't go the John Cena route and just keep him a baby face for the sake of keeping him a baby face. I would love to see a heel Cody Rhodes in WWE. That shit would probably cook, bro. I would love to see that. Y'all let me know if y'all would want to see that at some point, whenever he loses the championship and he goes down that arc of can't winning matches and struggling to figure out who he is potentially. I would love to see that. A heel Rhodes, I would love it. Funny that they actually make wrestlers break character. Like what this fan said to Dominic Mysterio. Dom, I know you're bricked up. I know you're bricked up. Usually, he said, I know you're bricked up. <laughs> I know you're bricked up. It's okay, I'll be bricked up too. Well, apparently, he's bricked up for Liv Morgan now because he just recently liked a picture of hers on Instagram. They've been playing seeds. This is actually fucking good what they're doing with Liv Morgan and Dominic. And whenever Rhea comes back, oh, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It was the New Day throwing pancakes to the fans, but on one episode of SmackDown, the roles were reversed. A fan in the crowd grabbed one of the New Day's pancakes and threw it into Big E's face. E seemed to be actually impressed and gave the fan the box of bootios. WWE fans are not the easiest going people in the world. No. If there's something they don't like, they let WWE know. In the mid-2010s, WWE was trying to make Roman Reigns a fan favorite, but the fans did not like him one bit. Nope. You suck. You suck. You suck. This is right after WrestleMania. However, WWE doesn't care. A reaction is still a reaction. With this in mind, a fan came up with a genius way of making his message clear. For years, one of the most hated female wrestlers was Eva Marie. She eventually got sent to NXT, where one fan did something no one had ever done. In the main event of NXT, Eva Marie took on Bayley for the NXT Women's Championship. Rather than boo or start chanting, a fan in the front row decided to read a book. Chris Jericho's best in the world at what I have no idea, to be exact. The wow. fan kept reading throughout the entire match, until oh. Bailey had won. Plot twist. The guy was actually a huge fan of Eva Marie and just really hated Bailey. In 2006. What the hell? 
Imagine just sitting there, your front row, just mm, action going on in the ring. Just mm, you're not disturbing anybody, but the visual of you just reading a book well, at a wrestling show for this particular match, and the plot twist of he wasn't really a Bailey fan; he was an Eva Marie fan. It's, it's fucking hilarious, bro. That's oh, that's dedication to the troll. Randy Orton was in hostile territory when he wrestled at ECW One Night Stand. The fans booed Orton and it looked like the Viper was enjoying the hate. Randy's attitude changed though when a kid in the audience punched him in the arm. What made it funny was that the kid barely reacted and just kept chewing his gum. You could tell Randy Orton was mad but knew he couldn't lay a finger on a child. Not long after- I don't think he was mad. I think he was kind of just, in, you know, enjoying the hatred. Like if, if you know you're going to be in a hostile environment, you- you heal it up. You heal it up. You even if you normally don't heal it up, you heal it up. You play it to that shit. For that environment, you be an asshole. What you gonna do about it? I would have got in his face. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Cause you a pussy. <laughs> would have told it. I would have said it just like that. Whatever. <laughs> Return to WWE, Goldberg was making his way to the ring to say a few things. One fan was really excited to see the wrestling legend and ripped off his shirt as Goldberg made his entrance. <laughs> you just know that guy planned on doing that before he even got to the show. <laughs> For those of you who don't know Don Callis, he's a wrestling manager in AEW. Now listen to what this fan said to Callis and see if you had the same thought when you first saw him. I think I just saw something I never thought I'd see. You look like a hot dog. During one of Enzo and Mori's signature <laughs> promos, a fan saw an opportunity for some fun and took it. The certified G threw off his wig, which was caught by a man standing nearby. The guy threw the wig on and played it up for the camera. Yeah. You would never see this in WWE, but it is really funny. Leo Rush was wrestling a match, and at one point, he took off his opponent's armband and put it around his head. A fan had a good comeback, but Leo Rush had an even better one. <laughs> <laughs> Bad guy wrestlers tend to call fans some pretty mean names, but one fan actually got even and had the last laugh. Hey Grayson! You call me Fat Boy in Green Bay, you fuck! <laughs> Randy Orton is such a pro, he can say hi to fans while kicking butt. While wrestling Rusev, Randy was on the outside when a fan said hello. <laughs> Ah, what's good, what's good? In 2016, <laughs> cool. Braun Strowman was on a rampage in WWE. One of his victims was Sin Cara, and while the luchador was getting the snot kicked out of him, at least one fan was having some fun. In the back row, a WWE fan had some kind of dab attack going on, what the which hell? is the most 2016 thing ever. Facts. It's not uncommon for wrestlers to throw their shirts or other merchandise into the crowd. Fans love this, or at least most fans do. Before a match against CM Punk on Raw, John Cena threw mm -hmm. his shirt into the crowd like normal, only to have it thrown Throw right, right back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> threw it back into the crowd, and the fans once again yep, threw it get back out of here. <laughs> what makes this so crazy is that rainworn John Cena shirts can be sold for thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. Yet the fans still threw the shirt back into the ring. But as the Joker would say, yeah, it's just one of those type of things where you know he's going against CM Punk at that time, and yeah, I can see somebody who, if you got a shirt from John Cena and he wore it to the ring and he threw it to you, yeah, I can see those going for like thousands of dollars, and he's like, nah, fuck you. It's not about money, it's about sending a message. POV, you just asked MJF for a picture. A bunch of bullshit! <laughs> for years now, Roman Reigns has been demanding that everyone... Acknowledge me! Acknowledge me! Acknowledge me! However, one fan somehow managed to put the Travel Chief in his place by simply saying... This one. Bro, that it was cold. That we watched that live on on SmackDown. That was she cooked way better than Cody had cooked in this entire segment right here. She cooked, and the camera picked up everything. That man, she, she cooked him. And Roman didn't even know who cooked him. <laughs> this is even funnier is that the guys in the production truck mute the audio right after the curse words were said. Fans yeah, still have to be it. careful with what they say to wrestlers though, because it can completely backfire. During a WWE show in the 90s, Shawn Michaels getting back into the ring when this happened. <laughs> I'm standing on my wallet. 
Yeah. Suck it! <laughs> During one of his entrances after becoming a bad guy, Maven spotted a fan taking pictures. The three-time hardcore champion decided to get a picture of the best looking person in the room and then toss the camera back. Once Daniel Bryan became the WWE champion in 2018, he began a big environment campaign. Mm -hmm. This led to Bryan lashing out at fans and shaming them for being wasteful. Unfortunately for Daniel Bryan, it was the fans who got the last laugh. While walking to the ring, a ringside fan held up a sign that said, yes, this sign wasted paper. That's pretty good. <laughs> Is <laughs> but, <laughs> that was a that was a very fun like heel run for daniel bryan this whole like economically friendly individual which is more or less who he is he just healed it up on camera and the fact <laughs> yes the sign wasted paper and daniel bryan just sit there just looking at this guy that was that was some good stuff that was a good run i'm not gonna lie to you bro we put the M in stupid. While wrestling at a non-televised WWE show, Rhea Ripley was having fun with fans and giving out high fives. One fan probably had a bit too much to drink and actually oh. spilled his beverage onto Ripley's chest. This guy probably shouldn't be a waiter. Speaking of too much to drink, I think this referee may have been a little out of it too. During an episode of Monday Night Nitro, Kevin Nash was in a gauntlet match. He started dishing out jackknife power bombs, and despite Nash not covering his opponents, the referee counted the pin anyway. However, what? while this is going on, two fans were putting on their own show. One fan in the back row lifted up his friend and put him in the torture rack. What a the hell? guard made them stop, <laughs> but it was still a funny moment. Now, what wasn't funny was what this fan did to Natalia. Uh, to yeah. See what happened. We've seen watch that this one. video. That's funny, man. <laughs> How the hell he get pinned? He didn't even pin him. He what? What's going on? He went for the count. He wasn't even pinned. What? Crazy, bro. Hey man, comment down below. Let me know some other hilarious moments you've seen at a WWE show, AEW show. Uh, if you remember way back in the day, WCW show. If it wasn't listed on this video, because I know a lot of you guys have actually been to wrestling shows. So if there was some funny stuff that happened with the crowd and the wrestlers that you were actually there for, let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still here on the speed of YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.